Oh my god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Alpha, no, please help me. Alpha, no, didn't help me. Final Fantasy 14. Hey guys, welcome back to my self indulgence of running through Final Fantasy Endwalker and recording it. <laughs> so the last time we were with our little group of scholarly folks and hi Graha, it's so good to see you. We snooped through Charlian, uh, got caught. <laughs> Thankfully we're on probation instead of getting kicked out, which is good because that gave me time to do this one side quest in the li Labyrinthos that was blue. But yeah, beyond that, I think we're ready to rendezvous and talk about things. I did a couple of other things while these guys were waiting for me. Um, I got a dog. I got a dragon. Like, three dragons. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. But first, I think we'll talk to these guys, in case I didn't. Duty. Mm, true. For us to feel responsible. Oh. Yeah. I might have asked this before, but where are my parents? Where are my parents? Yeah, he he's now a sage. Wise man. Give us our your dutiful wisdom. There's a little like Charlian mark. Wait. Ishtola. I need your neck for a second. Hold up. <laughs> Ishtola, I'm sorry. I need your neck for a second. It's not that sim. It's not, it's not the same. I don't think. Yay. Yeah, these. They got new clothes. And Thancred and Rianji had the same thing to say. Let's talk to Kryl. Rendezvous time. Estudian, he's back! Your time in Safnir has certainly been eventful. It's been heartbreaking too. And mind-breaking. And just breaking. In my opinion, carrying out Beatrice's request and assaulting the Tower of Zot should be our highest priority. I agree. While I still have questions concerning the Forum and their grand undertaking, we have all but exhausted our avenues of investigation. Hmm. Simply pressing them any harder on the subject will almost certainly result in our expulsion. Therefore, I suggest we explore the Ethereal Sea connection by way of a letter to Master Matoya, then make our way to Thadnair. I wonder, even with the protection these talismans afford us, what can we hope to achieve once inside the tower? According to Arnvold and Fordola's report, they were unable to free the Emolja. Worse, their attempts triggered the tower's defenses, which led to a summoning of Luna Afrit. What does it tell us that the spires even have such defenses? Simply pulling a prisoner from the wall is fatal, thus the direct approach is doomed to failure from the outset. Any further measures to dissuade such actions seem... unnecessary. Unless, of course, there is a way to free the prisoners without killing them. Then it stands to reason that any intruders would be met with overwhelming force. The towers appeared throughout the world in but the twinkling of an eye. Twas by magical means these structures were raised, I surmise. A spire thus conjured must needs be maintained. And I suspect an arcane catalyst, some manner of core, doth lie hidden within. Some manner of me? I'm sorry. <laughs> Destroy the core and the tower ceaseth to be, thus liberating the captives without harm. God, these two scholars are brilliant. So we can hope, and I would prefer to enter the tower with a working theory than with no plan at all. Assuming Ishtola's reasoning is correct, the chances of the defenses remaining dormant are small to none. Any primates will have to be dealt with. And defeating one will likely only lead to the summoning of another. 
Our every victory will only compound the prisoner's suffering. That's why we do it as quick as possible. May we not then divide our forces? Those proficient in healing will focus on sustaining the captives. That duty can be covered by Uriange, Kryon, Yostola, and myself. The remaining scions will proceed with the search for the core. Admittedly, this strategy puts both parties at greater risk. But it should bolster our chances of saving the Arcasodal by a considerable margin. I know, I know Conjury too, and Astrology. I'm, hello, I'm also capable. Are you sure Alphano is in the right group? What of Alization of the heal Healing Spiller too? I mean, both of them are, do no healing. Yeah, are you sure Alphano's in the right group? If you're to fight Primals, then you'd best have at least one healer with you. And the Sage. And I am more than happy to fulfill that role. I found wielding a Sage's armament to be rather intuitive, and look forward to testing them against a more challenging foe. It seems we have a plan. All that remains is to carry it out. I will inform Rads at Han of our movements, so let us make our preparations and regroup near the tower. The military post in what's left of the Hamsa hatchery should serve as a convenient staging. That sounds perfect. And remember, the experimental etherite at the confluence is there for those who need it, so there's no excuse for being late. Let's go. Preferably not by experimental etherite. And so we embark. Alright, let's go. We are going to... Way up here. <sighs> That's so much money. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go... Well, bad news is I can't fly, so I can't fly all the way up. Good news is I have a dog! So I can ride it- ride dog up. Alright, we've arrived at our destination. Where are the others? Not here yet. Friend of Eorzea. Um... Warding scales. Okay, cool. Stand by the boat. Now we wait. The rest of them would have had to gone by experimental ether right thing. I wonder how they'll be faring, but um, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I knew she'd struggle a little bit with it. <laughs> Mostly. Dragon human, Farshan. That's his name. I completely forgot about it within like the, the weeks of time that I that I last was in Thabnair. Your monopoly on primals. <laughs> I've been waiting for this day. <laughs> what would I say? <laughs> I mean, I do enjoy being a little sarcastic. They're all yours from now on. <laughs> You're the Cyan's brightest star after all. Oh, that's sweet, but I don't think that's me. Um. Strategy, okay. Two groups.
We'll be fine. Time for a dungeon. <laughs> it's time. It's time. It's absolutely time. Let's talk to the non people first. Thank you, Graha. Let's go, Kryl. Oh. Rianger. Hmm. Ishtola. <laughs> Lest you worry, I've not forgotten my healing spells. That's touching. That's really touching. All right, let's let's talk to the gang. All right. Stinian, Rata Tosker's power now at Vitra scale. Three Dragon Man. That's your nickname from now on, Three Dragon Man. Alize. It'll be fine, Alize. Alphino. Okay. Well, Thancred speaks true. They have a black mage on their side, who is also a conjurer. Uh, I think Graha is also an all-rounder. Rianji also used to be an arcanist, so I think these guys will be fine. They have their party. As for here, however, I can enter- hold up. Well, <laughs> first of all, this is a level 81, so I can only enter it as- uh, as a carpenter, a weaver, or a culinarian. Yes. Or botanist. Um, let's see. I have bard, dancer, astrologian, I think that's it. The rest of these are too under level. That's unfortunate because I wanted to enter as a ninja. I wish I had the whole party because that would have been- that would have been cool. Usually I would fight with Thancred and Rianje and Yustola, the OG scion, but I don't think I have that choice today, so. All right. Thank you. My turn. Twould be a pleasure as always. His line changed. Let's give it our all. Your line didn't change. Right then. All right. I haven't let's fought with Alize in a while, so let's go with the twins. Shall we? Oh, there's Gundams! <laughs> there's Gundams in this tower. Oh, these guys are all- okay. Alright, Alize, shall we dance? Let us proceed with caution. Oh, so we have- we technically do have these guys. Except, they're not really. Alright. We shall dance. Wait, these guys are also fighting. Wait, this is literally an eight man. Crazy. Alright, let's go faster. Run. This is an eight man. Alright. This is literally a gun flaw. Look. Run, run, run! No! <laughs> okay, let's go. Run, 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 run. Survey do part. We shall survey the halls below. Alright, thank you! Have fun! Alright. 
I'm gonna go out and see if I can get more things. Oh Come on, Thancred. Thancred, honey. Thancred. 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 Please help me. Like, I appreciate how- I appreciate how Thor you are, but like, your pulls are a little too slow. <laughs> Alright guys, let's move. Minderuva. Looks like a rogue. Alright, shall we dance? Be gone from our tower. No! Be gone or become prey for the maggot. How about no? Ooh. Ooh! Oh, uh, what? <laughs> Voila. Oh. Not dead. Oh. Bye. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Alright, let's go. Go, 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 go. Up, 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 up. Up. I wasted my sprint, but that's okay. Alright. Run, 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 Oh, these guys are tempered, tempered. They're like tentacles. I see another one up there. I'm gonna go grab it. Thank Red. Thank Red. Ah, I'm getting hurt, but it's okay. Oh, I can't move. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. This isn't good. Oh, I'm gonna die if I'm not careful. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Thank Red, please help. Okay. <laughs> that was so dumb of me. Alright, I've learned my lesson. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab these guys and then come back to Thancred. Thancred. Thanks, Alphano. Oh, I heard- that was a terrible squelching noise. Sanduruva. Oh. Thanks, Alize. Uh, these look like things that are going to explode. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Temporal displacement. What? Ow! Guessing games? Oh. Oh, it's an illusion! <laughs> Fire alone cannot expel you. Ominous. We are going this way. My, uh, my, my symmetries. Okay, that's fine. Zot's predator. Dang, <laughs> that's so unfortunate. I'm gonna scout on ahead. I know I said I didn't learn- I should have learned my lesson. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> but also- <laughs> Oh wait, they teleported. Oh goodness Christ. Oh goodness. Thank God, I'm so sorry. Oh. Oh! Ha 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 ha. Uh. Um. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> so, uh, Alpha No can't catch up with that many. Okay, that's good to know. Hmm. One last god. They're kind of cute. <laughs> Harbringers elect. Alright guys, let's go. The third and final sister. Yep. Let's dance. Oh, there's more! Oh, shite. Uh... Ah! 
Oh my god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Alpha no, please help me! Oh god! Alpha no, please help me! <laughs> Alpha no, please help me! Alpha no, please help! Alpha no didn't help me. All right, let's try that again, shall we? There is a limit break. I think we shall. I think we shall go for it, Desperado. They okay. Well, I didn't know that was go that was gonna be what would happen. Now I'm sad. And so the three sisters disappear. Hi, Estinian. Sorry for leaving you behind. Yay! We did it! We did it! With a lot of struggles, but anyway. Twins? No belief is sacred to these Telephroi. Estinian? Mmm. Thank you. Mm. All right. Let's break into this. Fork. <laughs> I got a. I got a fork, guys. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Is everyone all right? We almost died a couple of times. We fortified the captives with what magics we could. Have the defenses been disabled? All appears quiet for the moment. Lower floors were disturbing enough, but this place feels wrong. The ether is heavy and thick, like wading through a quagmire. I believe we stand in the tower's beating heart. What sayest thou, Ishtola? I see it. Ether siphoned from the land runs up through the spire, flowing to a single point. This is the core we seek. Yet something is off. As large as this structure is, it siphons far more ether than is required to sustain it. It is as if the core is feeding on the energy, consuming it. I need to take a closer look. Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea, uh, honey. Curious. There is something there embedded inside the core. A man's limb. What? This is what we came to destroy? Yes, if you'll be so kind. A man's limb. And that should be the end of it. Um, only issue. <laughs> yeah, we're literally in the thing that we're supposed. What now? My theory that the tower might come crashing down following the core's destruction does appear to be correct. Thanks, Riange. How do we get out of there? <laughs> Ow. 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 <laughs> that must have hurt. Ugh. 
What happened? Where are we? Back on the beach? By my reckoning, we're still on the island where the tower stood. But it is as if it never existed. Hardly a scratch. But how? Graha? Graha? Oh no. <sighs> not this again. <laughs> Or not again, not right. Ra wove a levitation spell at the last moment. Large enough to catch everyone, it would seem. <sighs> That's not a big cost. Oh my god. That explains the lack of obvious injuries. The expenditure of so much ether has taken its toll. He will need plenty of rest, but should otherwise be none the worse for wear. Oh, thank God. <laughs> or think the twelve, rather. Then the immediate problem is what to do with our new friends here. They'll be much changed for their time in the tower. Even if their bodies are intact, I doubt we could say the same for their minds. Angelo and I will take care of that. I have every faith in you, Alize, but there are just too many for you to treat alone. We'll send at once to Eorzea for more porxies and call on the local mages to lend a hand. Hail, Scions! Farshan. We were watching the tower. When it simply disappeared, what happened here? The threat is banished, and thy people delivered. They are, however, in need of treatment, and we of a secure locale and helping hands to assist us in its provision. You shall have all this and more. Come. Let us convey these unfortunate souls to the city. Thank you, Varshan. <gasps> Natana, are you good? Are you alive? You're breathing, right? I hope you're breathing, please. But hey, the tower is destroyed, that is, or it poofed, that's what matters. <laughs> what a what a journey. Where did everybody else go? <laughs> Alright, thank Rid. Talk to me. We can also help out, I guess, once you've had a moment to catch your breath. I am ready, Thancred. 